Can my old GPU survive the deep freeze? In this video, we encase an aging GTX 560 Ti in ice to see if this prehistoric card makes it through the thaw. But first, our video's sponsor, KeysFan. Get cheap and genuine Windows and Office license keys from KeysFan. Avoid malware legal and security issues from some free activation methods. Enter promo code GT50 in the shopping cart to get 50% off. Licenses are permanently activated and receive updates. The keys are OEM version and permanently activated. No time limited trial keys or volume keys. Your license will arrive directly to your email box in about 10 minutes. Be sure to check your spam or junk folders. KeysFan offers refunds and customer support. Simply email support at keysfan.com for any problems. Use the link in the description below to get your keys now. This old card has been through a lot of years of gaming and was even featured in a previous video. During this cold winter, I was curious to see if it would survive being frozen solid, thawed, and then resuscitated. I use a large bowl and normal tap water for this test. It took a day to fully freeze and we left it in the icy tomb for about five days. Roughly eight hours of thawing later, we had something that once again resembled a video card. I was slightly concerned this would destroy capacitors or break solder points. After 10 days of letting everything dry, we plug it into our test bench and pray nothing explodes. Initially, it looks like the card is dead on arrival. We get no video on the monitor whatsoever. I switch over to the onboard video and notice the card is trying to use the RTX 3060 drivers I had left behind. Oops. With those removed, we try once again with the latest drivers, but the card failed the install. This isn't looking good. I decide to let Device Manager update the drivers, and lo and behold, it recognizes the card. With some base prehistoric drivers loaded, we fire up a quick game of Rocket League and see if this card actually functions. A quick adjust to the resolution, and we're getting good frames with the card, and it's holding temps with no issue. The fan still works too. Being frozen solid has not affected this card's ability to play games. While we had some initial problems with the card, I'd say this test is mostly a success. It is possible to deep freeze a graphics card and come out of it with cool working frames. Don't try this on your card at home though, kids. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and leave your warm comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I love you people.